challenge. Let's do this. How long does it take you to get to 100 reps? All you need is a 28 kilo kettlebell. However, if that doesn't work, drop your weight until it's something more manageable and then incrementally build up. Guys, let's look at some correct technique. I'm going to be using a light kettlebell to demonstrate this technique. So this exercise builds explosive strength in the hips, quads, hamstrings, core and glutes and a little in your shoulders also. So you're going to take the kettlebell, you're going to bend your knees ever so slightly, just a little slight bend. You're going to pop back the hips just a little, so that's a bend and a pop. Kettlebell you're going to grip tightly, you're going to allow it to drop between your legs. Then you're going to go to thrust forward, so it's a thrust forward from the hips. It's thrust forward, and you're going to, that, that momentum that you generate from your hips, you're going to implement. So, momentum, pop. So, when you pop up here, you're going to pop up the kettlebell, and then there's not, there's not much use in your arms. It all comes from that momentum. So, pop and then drop. Pop and then drop. Remember to bend the knees. Push back the hips, pop and then drop. You want to keep the chest, the chest elevated. So chest elevated, drop, pop, drop, pop, and just repeat that technique. So now let's get to work. Okay, so we're going to begin with a 28 kilo kettlebell sitting waiting. Before we start, some little mindset tips. So when you're going through this, it's going to be a really, really tough workout. You want to buy, you want to be visualizing. Visualizing is key. So visualize that warrior in you. Visualize, imagine you're an Olympian and you're in front of a full stadium. It might be cheesy to you, but it really works for me and I find it really works for other people too. Uh, it's always good to foster competition. So this might be the first time you've tried something like this. So we won't have a baseline measurement. So if you're looking to compete against a number, to get to your 100 reps, my time is sub three minutes. So that could be the time you could look to compete against to give you that urge and sort of inkling to move forward. And I would also say, think of the, the pain that you suffer and you experience within this workout as like many deposits into your fitness and health and strength bank account. It's going to be tough. And that's an indicator that the workout's worthwhile. Think of pain. Now, when you experience pain, pain is like weakness leaving the body. So there's a couple of mindset tips to get going. So let's get to it. Ah! 100 reps, here goes. Always stopping, take a midway point break, grab my mind, give myself a quick breather, halfway there. Here we go. 50 more. Woo! Come on, you can do it. Visualize. Kicking in lactic acid. Oh. 
20 more. Come on, guys. Push through the barriers. Pain is weakness leading the body. 20 more. La. La. You don't do a lot of forearm strength training. So check your time the minute you finish. I don't know what that is, but I can look and check in the video. Hopefully, I'm ready about the three minute mark. I injured my shoulder a little bit recently, and just yesterday actually lightly sprained my ankle. So it's a bit tentative. However, check your time instantly. See if you've beat me. If you have, let me know. Drop me a comment below. You can do this workout anywhere at any time, out the garden with your kettlebell, at home your kettlebell, in the gym, on holiday, you name it, simple exercise, good for the mind, body, explosive energy, explosive power, and it's a mental workout too. So thanks very much for watching, peace out, much love, see you later.